and blasphemy. And we placed between them enmity and hatred, until the day of resurrection. Whenever they kindle the fire of war, God extinguishes it. And they strive to spread corruption on earth. God does not love the corruptors. Had the people of the scripture believed and been righteous, we would have remitted their sins, and admitted them into the gardens of bliss. Had they observed the Torah, and the Gospel, and what was revealed to them from their Lord, they would have consumed amply from above them, and from beneath their feet. Among them is a moderate community, but evil is what many of them are doing. O Messenger, convey what was revealed to you from your Lord. Messenger Muhammad. But if you do not, then you would not have delivered his message. And God will protect you from the people. God does not guide the disbelieving people. Say, O people of the scripture, you have no basis until you uphold the Torah and the Gospel and what is revealed to you from your Lord. But what is revealed to you from your Lord will increase many of them in rebellion and disbelief, so do not be sorry for the disbelieving people. Those who believe, and the Jews, and the Sabians, and the Christians, whoever believes in God and the last day, and does what is right, they have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. The Christian who we believe that there is no, there is only one God. And we said to the messengers, Whenever a messenger came to them with what their souls did not desire, some of them they accused of lying, and others they put to death. They assumed there would be no punishment, so they turned blind and deaf. Then God redeemed them, but then again many of them turned blind and deaf. But God is seeing of what they do. They disbelieve those who say, God is the Messiah, the Son of Mary. But the Messiah himself said, O children of Israel, worship God, my Lord and your Lord. Whoever associates others with God, God has forbidden him paradise, and his dwelling is the fire. The wrongdoers have no saviors. They disbelieve those who say, God is the third of three. But there is no deity except the one God. If they do not refrain from what they say, a painful torment will befall those among them who disbelieve. Will they not repent to God and ask his forgiveness? God is forgiving and merciful. The Messiah son of Mary was only a messenger, before whom other messengers had passed away, and his mother was a woman of truth. They both used to eat food. Note how we make clear the revelations to them. Then note how deluded they are. Say, do you worship, besides God, what has no power to harm or benefit you? But God. He is the hearer, the knower. Say, O people of the scripture. Do not exaggerate in your religion beyond the truth. And do not follow the opinions of people who went astray before, and misled many, and themselves strayed off the balanced way. Cursed were those who disbelieved from among the children of Israel by the tongue of David and Jesus, son of Mary. That is because they rebelled and used to transgress. They used not to prevent one another from the wrongs they used to commit. Evil is what they used to do. You will see many of them befriending those who disbelieve. Terrible is what their souls prompts them to do. The wrath of God fell upon them, and in the torment they will remain. Had they believed in God and the prophet, and in what was revealed to him, they would not have befriended them. But many of them are immoral. You will find that the people most hostile towards the believers are the Jews and the polytheists. And you will find that the nearest in affection towards the believers are those who say, we are Christians. That is because among them are priests and monks, and they are not arrogant. And when they hear what was revealed to the messenger, you see their eyes overflowing with tears, as they recognize the truth in it. They say, our Lord, we have believed, so count us among the witnesses. And why should we not believe in God, 
and in the truth that has come to us, and hope that our Lord will include us among the righteous people. God will reward them for what they say, gardens beneath which rivers flow, where they will stay forever. Such is the reward of the righteous. But as for those who disbelieve and deny our signs, these are the inmates of the fire. O you who believe, do not prohibit the good things God has permitted for you, and do not commit aggression. God does not love the aggressors. Oh. And eat of the lawful and good things God has provided for you. And be conscious of God, in whom you are believers. God does not hold you accountable for your unintended oaths, but he holds you accountable for your binding oaths. The atonement for it is by feeding ten needy people from the average of what you feed your families, or by clothing them, or by freeing a slave. Anyone who lacks the means shall fast for three days. That is the atonement for breaking your oaths when you have sworn them. So keep your oaths. Thus God makes clear his revelation. So this is all Quran. I don't know where where you found where, where all those things which you are mentioning again and again and again. That Islam is this and Islam is this. This is all happening at that time. The believer, non-believer, they are fighting. There are a lot of things going on. So these verses are keep coming, keep coming and teaching to the messenger. And the telling to the people, oh people, believe, believe, believe. So, if the people don't believe at that time, when he is there, how they can believe now? And maybe God gives you courage and give you light for the right path. Have a good day.